Hello everyone, Ian here from Able City in Burbank, and today we're checking out the Airy ERM2400 LCS. Now that's a real mouthful, so let's unpack those acronyms first, and then we'll explain why we're taking a look at this technology from Airy. First of all, ERM stands for External Radio Module. It's simply a means of transmitting, in this case, data to and from the camera. That data is coming from our WCU4. It could also come from the SXU, and we'll take a look at those scenarios in just a little bit. The LCS refers to Lens Control System, and that was the first lens control protocol that ARI invented. Now, that was what we were using with the CLM1 motors uh, back in the early days of the Alexa. The technology has progressed, so has the technologies for our motors and the information that goes to and from those modules. So, it's important to understand LCS is the means by which we're going to be taking information from and to the WCU4. Now, what I'd like to do is give you a breakdown of what those different components look like, how they fit together, and how they're going to work in unison. The reason why we're doing all this is because in the midst of a global pandemic, we need to make sure that our camera operators, our camera crews can work at a safe distance. And what the ERM2400 LCS does, it allows us to do precisely that. It gives us a range of almost 3,000 feet of point-to-point -point distance between hand units and cameras. So that allows us a substantial distance for safe operation. It also allows us to use this in unique different types of operating environments, such as ship-to-ship -ship or car-to-car -car during a car chase, a type of scenario where we need to have the assurance of communication between camera and operators. So let's go and take a look at the different components and how we're going to use this. I'm going to be operating from my monitor here with my WCU4. You can see that I'm rolling focus in and out. So let's take a look at the cabling, the connections, and how the system will interface with our Alexa Mini LF. So I wanted to show you the interface on the WCU4 because one of the first things you may notice is a little X right here. And that may be a little disconcerting at first because typically we rely on those bars to tell us that we have a uh, good connection between the handset and the camera. Well, I have a cable plugged into it, so that's why we're getting this indicator. But I also wanted to point out uh, another acronym from the ARI, and that is LDS, Lens Data System. We are working with Alexa Mini LF and the LPL and the PL mount both have LDS and I have a signature prime, which of course is an LPL mount, uh, and that has LDS built into it as well. So what that means is the settings from the lens are being transmitted from the camera through our ERM LCS into the WCU4. So you can see right here the focal length, you can see my focus, and you can see my iris. Also what this is allowing us to do is to go into our camera menu, and here I get a synopsis of current camera status, but also, additionally, we can go into the setup, and now I can go in and change my frame rate, shutter angle, white balance, ND filters, or my index. What that means is now we have the assurance of point-to-point -point assured communication between the WC4 and my camera. Additionally, we're also maintaining our social distance so we can work in a safe manner. So we have our WCU4, and I'm going to start the connection process using this. This is our LCS, Lens Control System Connector. So I'm going to use an adapter that goes to something called a CAN connector, and the CAN connector is a 4-pin. And this is what's going to allow us to communicate into the ERM. So I also have a CAN cable. Uh, this length runs from my cart here all the way into the hallway where I have my ERM positioned. I'm going to plug this in and now I'm going to power up the WCU4. And in the background, uh, you're going to see some lights turn on. And what those lights are indicating is that, first of all, my ERM has been powered by the same battery that is powering the WCU4. When we start talking about the different 
cables uh, that we're going to use for our connection process today. Uh, that brings up a whole conversation about how different information is being uh, packed into communication. If you want to know more about that, I would encourage you to look at a video that was done by Christina and Henrik at uh, ARI, and they do a wonderful job of explaining the technicalities and the evolution of how those signals get processed. For today's video, it's important to understand that we are using the LCS, but we are also combining LBUS communication into this connector as well. The reason being is because we are combining uh, signals that are communicating with the camera as well as signals that are communicating with our lens. Now, the other thing that's important to understand is that, uh, as I mentioned before, you have this X here on the bar strength. So what is happening is we are using something called frequency hopping to make this happen. Now, this uh, system is working in a 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, and within that, uh, it is looking at uh, different parts of that spectrum for communication. If that section that it is using uh, encounters communication or uh, corruption from another source, it now jumps to another uh, spectrum in order to maintain communication. This is really critical because what this ensures, especially on a set where you have multiple types of transmitter and receivers, uh, it allows us to have the assurance of consistent and reliable communication between our handset and our camera. All right, so we've traveled down the hall to where my ERM has been put onto a C-stand. I have it on here with a uh, little lightweight arm as there's tapped holes on the back of this uh, for mounting surfaces. Uh, we'll do the close-up on this and the architecture in just a moment, but first I'm going to power it back up through the WCU-4 and notice that I immediately get these three diodes. That's telling me that my uh, signal strength is very good. The camera with the other ERM is down the hallway here in our other stage. And I will talk about what we see on the status screen here in one second, but also notice that we have our diodes for confirmation that we are transmitting and receiving information from the camera to the headset and from the handset back to camera. I wanted to show you a cutaway of the uh, screen so we see what information is being displayed here. At the top, we have the 2.4 gigahertz that we've uh, spoke about prior. And notice that next line down, it says link C1010. And this number should correspond to the uh, paired part of this team. So in other words, the other ERM2400 that I have on set here is gonna have that same number. This number is imprinted on the side as well as being displayed on LCD. And I'll show you in just a moment where you can uh, see that number to verify that the pair that you have share the same number. Region is set to zone one right now. It's important to understand that this, uh, these units can be set for different zones and these zones correspond to different regions of the world and this will control uh, the various level of output that these units have. So you definitely want to have that set up for the uh, region in which you're going to be shooting. Notice that the wired connection is LCS. That corresponds to the LCS on our handset, and we have verification that we are connected. I want to tilt this up, and you can see on the bottom, we have the CAN connector, that's the four pin. Uh, the two pin is for uh, power. We're gonna be using the two pin connector when we connect the uh, partner of this one to the camera. And then you have a USB connector for maintenance and uh, service related uh, activities. And as I mentioned on the back, let me just loosen this up so you can see a little better. We have a series of tapped holes for connection to various surfaces. We moved over to our stage here and you can see my uh, mini LF is here. Uh, if we pan over, I wanna show you how we have rigged the ERM. We're using Airy accessories. 
uh, to bracket it onto the camera. And you can see it integrates itself very nicely into the build of the camera. The other thing I want to point out is the connections. This is one possible solution that we're showing you here. So we're going from the CAN connector to the EXT connection on the uh, Mini, and we'll look at that in just a second. And also a possible power solution that we have here is the two pin connector going to PTEP. So now if we uh, pan around, and I just wanna point out by going into the EXT connector on the camera. Now the EXT connector is allowing us to pass LCS and LBUS information. So that's allowing me to control the camera and also control the uh, C-Force Mini motors for the Signature Prime. Now that we have all the components connected, let's take this outside and just see how far we can safely be connected to the camera. I'm outside of Able City. I'm actually across the street from Able City. And as we start our zoom out, you can see just how far away I am. I'm looking at my ERM and I have three bars. So I have good uh, communication. I have a uh, direct line of sight to the uh, ERM inside the building and I have full camera control. So I'm ready to be working at this distance safely and confidently. And that's going to wrap up our look at the ERM 2400 LCS from Aerie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.